Lord Brunson back at you with the back at you, and I am the best reporting on the Eagles. Bold prediction, the Philadelphia Eagles are going to win the NFC East. We're going to win a division this year. I just don't think nobody matches up with us. I just don't, I think across the board we're better, especially in the um especially in the category that matters the most, and that's quarterback and head coach. We're better. It's like a landslide when it comes to those things. I mean, yeah, Eli Manning is the most decorated quarterback in the division, but Eli Manning also was really old. Eli Manning's old. This ain't this ain't the, this ain't the young Eli Manning that be slinging the pill. Eli old. Eli's old with some young weapons around them, but you only gonna go as far as your quarterback can take you for the most part. If Eli was old like how Peyton Manning was when Peyton Manning got old, then I think the Giants could possibly be a problem. But they also lost Odell Beckham. I mean, listen, man. I think that in a lot of places across the board, the Philadelphia Eagles are just better than a lot of these teams right now. And a lot of places across the board, quarterback check, offensive line check, defensive line, very slight edge, but check. Um, uh, tight end check, wide receivers check. I just think we check off too many boxes, bro. We check off too many boxes to not be able to get this done. And look who's hungry. Our defensive coordinator is hungry. Because if you want to be honest, man, Jim Schwartz, uh, great. Jim Schwartz great for last season. I got to give Jim Schwartz like a C minus, man. We blew a lot of games due to poor defensive play. Due to poor defensive play. Um, if I want to grade Doug Peterson throughout the season, I got to give Doug a B minus because Doug should have been start calling the plays. J Mike Grow Grow gets an F. I got to give Grow an F, man. Grow got to get an F. So many times in the first in the first half, we only score one touchdown or not one touchdown. I got to go with an F for Grow. Um, Special teams didn't get any touchdowns. I mean, did the special teams give up any touchdowns? But special teams came up with a season-saving block. So I got to give special teams like a, uh, I got to give special teams like a B plus. Um, it would be an A if they would have scored the touchdown, but I, I don't think so. Um, I can't even think of any defensive touchdowns we got last year. Like we just weren't good on defense, but we had a bunch of injuries and we had a bunch of reasons why one can say that we could have been better on defense. Now, um. Jay Ajayi keeping close contact with the Philadelphia Eagles is a very good thing. It's a very good thing. It shows that we have not closed the door on him, obviously, because we're still talking to him. And it also shows that we show some interest, even though he already had a meeting with the Colts, I believe. Jay Ajayi is a guy we should bring back on the Prove It deal. Jay Ajayi got a lot to prove, man. People think he's hurt. People think he's damaged goods. I think Jay Ajayi could put a lot of these rumors to rest by coming back and have a productive season with the Philadelphia Eagles. I mean, he's the running back that won it for us. He's the one. He was one of the running backs that you know that solidified us, man. That solidified us. And you and you can't you li listen. The Philadelphia Eagles are not going to deviate from the game plan. The Philadelphia Eagles. Everybody is saying running back, running back, running back. Look at who we are first. That's why I'm not like like I'm looking at the running backs. If we go running back, I'm looking at who I think we should get. But I know my team. We go offensive line or we go defensive line. We secure those positions because we feel like that gives us the best chance to win. If you got a line, if you can win, the, if you can win the battle up front, then you're going to go far in the NFL, period. So I feel like, you know, it's not outrageous for us to pick up um, a lineman in the first round and then pick up uh, one of these skill positions, quote unquote, in the later rounds. I think keeping tabs on J.J. is marvelous, man. I think J.J. wants to remain in Philadelphia. J.J. won the Super Bowl in Philadelphia. J.J. has a lot left. What is J.J., 26 or 27? It's a lot left in the tank for J.J. J.J. is a young man a young man. I believe he can get healthy and I believe he can get past anything that's hindering him in the eyes of these people, man. Jay Ajayi, you got to remember, man, at one point, Jay Ajayi was like a top five running back in the NFL, man. Jay Ajayi was a beast, man, in a couple of them years in Miami. Jay Ajayi was a beast. I looked at, um, like I said, I looked at the press conference from Howie Roseman. Um, they asked him about the running back position and he kept it real. He like, there's, there's more than one way to skin a cat. There's more than one way. He can easily spend some of the money that we got and pick up one of these running backs with a quote unquote name. But look at the running backs that's still out there. Look at the ones that's still out there. The best running back that's out there in free agency is Jay Ajayi. It's Jay Ajayi. Yeah, I don't understand why we're not going after Blunt. I like the, I like the fact of uh, CJ. I was saying CJ later because I thought, you know, Jay Ajayi, I didn't even think they was even talking to Jay Ajayi, man. Even, I want Jay Ajayi back. Jay Ajayi knows the system. He knows the linemen. Jay Ajayi knows expectations. Jay Ajayi has already proven that he doesn't have a problem with splitting carries. You know what I mean? CJ Anderson wants to be the guy for a whole season. We don't operate like that in Philadelphia, man. We like to keep bodies fresh, and we like to do what's best for the team. 
And I don't want to I don't want us to have to come into a situation and explain that to another veteran player. We had to explain that with Michael Bennett. And speaking of Michael Bennett, Howie Roseman also touched on that. You know, sometimes you got to make the business move. We griped and complained about uh, letting Michael Bennett go, but we got a cop pick for that. And we brought in Malik Jackson. So we replaced him and we still got a cop pick for it. You know what I mean? I think I think we want to lead the way in how comp picks are distributed. I think we want to win the comp pick game. We want to have a good draft day, I think. I think that I think that our aim is to show show everybody that you know you can hit big in the draft in the later rounds. The more swings you get at it, you're going to hit something. So, you know, you got you got to respect and you got to be patient with the way that Howie Roseman is going. But as of right now, as we are built right now, we're built to already take the NFC East. We're built to take the NFC East. You know what I mean? That's the bold prediction. We're going to take the NFC East. We're going to go to the playoffs three straight years. We're going to do stuff like that. We are. We have arrived. It's a new day, Philadelphia. We have arrived. We are a team that you cannot play around with anymore. We have a franchise quarterback, and that means a lot. You know, the pressure is on a lot of these guys. The pressure is on uh, Carson Wentz. The pressure is on um, Jim Schwartz. Uh, Mike Groh got a, a little bit of pressure on him as well. The pressure's on a lot of people, man. Any running back that we keep from last year and bring him into this year, the pressure's on him as well because we were horrible in run game. We were horrible in third and one and fourth and one situations. Josh Adams has a lot to prove. Sidney Jones has a lot to prove. A lot of these guys might not be seeing a lot of playing time. How much time can we really invest in Sidney Jones moving forward? Yeah, we know Sidney Jones can be a dog. We know Sidney Jones got potential. But how much time can we keep investing in Sidney Jones before we say, you know, no, nah, we got to give Crevion LeBlanc those uh, reps. No, we got to give Avanti Maddox those reps. You know what I mean? And Jalen Mills is coming back healthy. So where does Jalen Mills fit in this? I don't expect Jalen Mills to be sitting on the bench. Now, we all gave Jalen Mills a hard time, but we know what Jalen Mills brings to the table as far as tackling and as far as tenacity. He doesn't give up. He just gets beat sometimes. If he played more sound and more disciplined, then, you know, a lot of things will go right for Jalen. But yeah, that, that that's that's the basis of you know the, the just the bold prediction. I think we're gonna take the East. I think I a lot. It's a two man race, but I think we're leading so far in the race, man, that we're in a very good position, man. We're in a decent position. You know, um, the schedule start the, the schedule come out in about two weeks, I believe. So then we get to start seeing who we play, when we play, how this thing lines up, and then we can start seeing what our record actually is going to be. You know, injuries play injuries play a part in everything that's going to happen during out the course of the season. But there's no reason why the Philadelphia Eagles, if the core point, if, if if Carson Wentz plays 16 games, we win in the East. Carson Wentz got to play every game. He don't even got to play every game to do it. We don't have a backup quarterback anymore. How do we fill that position? Are we going to look to draft the quarterback? We don't have a backup quarterback. When you got a franchise quarterback, you got to bring in a backup who's ready to go day one. We don't want to bring somebody in from the draft, especially with Carson Wentz's injury history. You know how many seasons get lost once a, once a starting quarterback and times when starting quarterbacks had to miss games? Seasons get lost like that. You can't expect just an ordinary Joe Schmo to fill in the shoes for a starting quarterback. Everybody not Nick Foles, man. What Nick Foles did was extremely hard. Everybody's not Nick Foles. We got to keep that in mind, too. We need a backup. We need a lot of stuff. We need an inside linebacker. So these comp picks are going to come in handy. Don't worry about the moves that's not being made. Worry about the moves that's not being made that nobody's talking about. Don't worry about the blatant moves. Worry about the invisible moves. Howie Roseman appears to be three steps ahead of what's going on. So just worry about it, man. Just what this, Just don't worry about it. Just worry about... Just worry about what you don't see. There's always a method to the madness with Howie Roseman, and I'm starting to learn that. It's always the way Howie does things, man. Let's see how it checks out.